Paul Scholes and Patrick Vieira also feature prominently on the list of the worst offending stars ever to grace the top flight. Lee Cattermole, Joey Barton, Vinnie Jones. These are usually the names that spring to mind when you think of dirty footballers. But who is in fact the most card-happy player in the history of the Premier League? According to research from Dirty Players. Co.uk, none of the trio above are the filthiest footballers of the past 25 years. I in fact, that honor goes to West Brom midfielder Gareth Berry. The former Aston Villa, Manchester City and Everton man has picked up more dirty points based on 25 PTS for a red card and 5 PTS for a yellow than any other player. Barry has racked up 745 points during his long career. But is he technically the dirtiest player? After all, the ex England international has played 636 times, averaging one. Nineteen dirty points per game. Perhaps it would be fairer to look at which player holds the highest per game ratio. With that title going to Sunderland man Cattermold. Incredibly, the feisty midfielder averages too. Zero eight dirty points per game, just ahead of Barton. 2.01. Cattermole and Barton are the only two players to average two or more points per game, with Vinnie Jones just behind at one. Ninety-three. Patrick Vieira, Danny Mills, Dennis Wise, and David Batty are all unsurprising inclusions in the top ten, all above one. Sixty-nine points per game. El Hadji Diouf, Lee Boyer, Duncan Ferguson, and Roy Keane also cracked the top twenty at one. Forty-two dirty points per game or more. Ferguson, Vieira, and Richard Dunn boast the highest red dirty points with two hundred apiece, the equivalent of eight sendings off. Meanwhile, it's Barry who's way out in front in the yellow dirty points standings at 595.